is an installation video of a Clearwater Industries CW1400 high compaction thickener. We're at a sand and gravel facility. This is a limestone quarry. We're treating a thousand gallons per minute of wash water, creating a thick mud and water for reuse. We're down here towards the pit of the quarry. We're about a half mile away from the clarifier, about 150 feet down. To get the flow up to the clarifier from here, we put two rubber line slurry pumps in series. They're both operating together and they're automated based on the level in this tank. This is the clarifier tank. This is where the separation process occurs, where we have the clean water coming off the top of the tank and the mud coming off the bottom. Inside our climate controlled doghouse here, We've got spray foam insulation, LED lighting, power distribution for 480, step down to 120. These are our controls. We call this our auto flop. This is looking at the light absorption in the clarifier. We're automating the polymer and coagulant dosing off of this messenger. That's providing a reliable, uh, automatic solution with any changes in flow rate, percent solid, in some regards, even the particle size or chemistry that we're treating. This is the control enclosure for the clarifier and coagulant system. We're monitoring the bed level and we only discharge mud when we want to. We do that continuously. Over here on this side, or behind me I suppose, we've got uh, storage for the dry polymer, which we'll look at the dry polymer system here, and the coagulant. The coagulant is introduced first, again about a half mile down the hill into the sump. We're using a modified LQ 50 liquid dosing system here. The LQ50 liquid dosing system consists of a flow meter monitoring our dilution water and a neat chemical pump. In this case, it's a piston pump that's pumping in the neat coagulant into the dilution water line, which goes out down to the sump. The sump's about a half mile down the hill. Um, so we've got this all in a localized area so that the operators just have one stop in the morning to check on this stuff. One of the unique challenges of this job is we didn't have any dilution water available for us up here. These chemicals require clean water to prepare them and to dilute them. So what we did is we're using clarified water to ensure that we got good water quality. We're using a bag filter and a cartridge filter to treat that water. The polymer is prepared with a Model 800 stainless steel dry polymer system. We've included that inside the container to keep it out of the elements here. Again, this is providing reliable and automatic dry polymer to be made into solution for use in the process. Our dry arm brake and mud conveyance system keep a continuous flow of solids moving down away from the bottom of this clarifier. The mud then moves through this pipe into the mud cell. On top of the clarifier is where the separation process occurs. We've automatically introduced the coagulant and flocculant to separate the solids from the clean water. You can see we've maintained really nice clean water for these guys all day. That overflows into their clean water tank and it's ready for reuse. We've got our mud removal system here flip-flopping into one of these two cells. They just cleaned this one out yesterday. We've got videos of how that went, went very well. And we're filling up the tank now. I'll manually discharge some mud. Just so you can see the consistency. It's at, I thought it was at 39%. Oh. There we go. So you can see the consistency of that mud. Even though we're not even ready to discharge yet, it's already quite thick in there. And that that's what allows for these short drying times and the ability to drive into these cells. The plant manager indicated that he's been able to drive into these 
as early as four days after filling them. Now, of course, if we wait a little longer, we're gonna get better performance, but he was able to clean this out uh, to optimize some downtime with only four, four days of, of rest, if you will. And when the mud's cratering like this, we know that it's around 50, 55% solids by weight. So we're already getting really good performance and the clarifier itself isn't set to automatically discharge until 60% mud. So everything's going quite well here.